Hello. Hello, friend. Welcome to the Anai Island. This place looks like a playground. What exactly do you do here? Well, it may look like a playground, but in fact this is a research and development area. Here, we try to promote and demonstrate our most recent and successful results regarding avatar interaction and environment manipulation. What do you mean by environment manipulation? Basically, I am talking about manipulating objects. The objects that you can create here with your avatar. Well, that sounds interesting. Although the client software allows me to do great things, just positioning the objects can be really time-consuming. Not to mention creating behaviors for them. I am no programmer. I wish there could be a much easier way. Well, I believe I can help you with that. What do you mean? Have you ever heard of EML3D? Not really. EML3D is our most recent application for virtual worlds. It means Environment Markup Language 3D, and it's a tool designed for non-programmers to easily deploy and manipulate their objects here. Sounds too good to be true. What can you do with it? Well, you can create objects using simple scripting commands that run outside the virtual world. Well, you can do that with the client software too. True, but you can create more advanced scripts by incorporating instructions for object motion and dynamic change of object properties. Hey, that is convenient. What about cutting object behavior? You cannot define encapsulated object behaviors for now, but you can use EML3D to simulate behavior to object manipulation. For example, you could make plants grow. Well, that is easy if you only have one plant to code. What if I have to create a big number of objects like stars? EML3D allows you to create hundreds of objects in batch mode using just one simple command. For example, this is the result of the short script that creates just 10 stars, but we also have a steady ML3 play with bigger data simulations that generated not hundreds but thousands of objects in real time. Oh, that is really what I need. But since this tool is just for object manipulation, I could not expect to have the possibility of performing mathematical calculations, right? That would be very useful in complex visualizations. Well, I will let you in on a secret. When we designed the ML3, we wanted our tool to be as flexible as possible, especially in terms of letting users extend the ML3 for their own visualization applications. Therefore, we are working on implementing a plug-in system in the language that will allow you to extend the ML3D's capabilities. This is a small simulation of an embody problem, with three stars using a Hermite algorithm implemented as a plug-in for ML3D. That's cool. Say, where could I find more information about this EML3D? You can visit our webpage at www.printinjurelab.net and download it free of charge. Thanks, pal. You really made my day. You're welcome. And enjoy EML3D.